Okay, so today we're going to look at the introduction to a sine law, the ambiguous case. But in order to do that, we're going to do some background work on how to make a triangle and the things that you need. So let's consider this situation here. Well, I have AC is 5, BC is 8, and I need angle C to be 121. This is what's given. In order to make the triangle, I must have these three conditions met. In order to make these triangles, I'm going to use the idea of circles. And I'm going to construct a circle of length 8. So any rate, this is always length 8, no matter where I go from here, anywhere on the circle. And so I'm going to put a point here. So that there, that length there is 8. Okay, and I'm going to hide the circle now. I'm going to hide it, and we don't need it. Now, so then from here, we're going to make that angle C. And I'm going to rotate this line about I'm going to rotate it 121 degrees to here. And so I have this is C, this is B, and this is A. These are fixed. I can't change that. Now I want to come along and make AC 5. So from here, I'm going to make a circle again and construct that circle. So this is length 5. If I put a point here, and now I can hide those and make my segment. So I have, what I've got is I've got an angle, and this is point A, side 5. And I have to make a triangle. In doing so, there is only one possible triangle to make, and that's the triangle that connects here. When I look at this configuration, this is a side, the included angle in the side. In this configuration, side, angle, side, there is one and only one triangle. And that's key. When I have this configuration where the angle is included, C is included, that means there's only one possible triangle. Let's look at another scenario. Let's look at this scenario where I have <coughs> two angles and the side length between them. So let's let's make ourselves a line. Okay, and on this line, I'm going to put and we'll make that point A. And I don't need that point here, or do I need that point here? But okay, so this is going to be a point. I'm going to call this point A. And now I want to take this and make an, ang an angle 76 degrees, what I need to make at this point here. So to do so, I'll take the line and I will rotate it. I'm going to rotate it 76 degrees. There is my scenario. Now, to find B, I need to take B and put it over here, 7 centimeters somewhere. So if I take A, I take a, B, and I construct a circle again. This point here is 7 centimeters, so that must be B. On B, I need an angle of 34 degrees. So I'm going to take B, select my angle, I'm going to rotate it, oh, rotate the line. 34 degrees, but make sure I go in the right direction. I have to put negative 30. Oh, I have to make this my center. I'm going to rotate negative 34 degrees, and I rotate it. And as you see, there's only one possible triangle created. I end up with this triangle here, and this must be C. I was given, just to be clear, I was given A. I was given B, and I was given this length here. This is angle, included side, angle, angle side, angle. With this is the case, I have one and only one triangle. Same with SAS. I'm not going to show you. It's also the same if I have three sides. I get only one triangle. Now, let's look at this scenario here. Where I have angle B is 25, AC is 7, 
AB is 11. So again, I'm going to come here and I'm going to make myself a line and uh, I'll hide those points here because I don't need them. And then I'll put a point here, point on the line. Now, I know that my angle B is 25. So let's make this point B. So in order to do it, I'm going to rotate B 25 degrees. I'm going to rotate it 25 degrees. Oh, hold on. I got to make it the center. So I'm going to rotate 25 degrees. And there is such. So here is a 25 degree angle. This is fixed. I can do nothing about this. It must be 25 degrees. It's fixed. Well, I know AB is 11. So from B, I got to go at 11. So to do that, I'll do my circle trick again. I'm going to draw a circle from B, construct the circle. And I know then that this is 11. And so I know that this length is 11, and this must be point A, because AB is 11. Well, now, my third length is AC, and it's got to come from here. It's got to be 7 long. Well, if I come along and take this and I draw myself a circle, construct a circle, that's what I get. What I get is I get something that comes over here. Here is a place, and here is another place. Now, both those create, that is a length of 7. Here is a triangle, the outside triangle here. And then I also have another triangle here. And this is also 7. So in this particular case, I have the little triangle. And then I also have the outer big triangle. And both of those, both of those have an angle of 25, a side of 11, and the opposite side being 7. And so the configuration that this is is angle side side because the angle is not included angle side side or you can think of it as side side angle so side side angle the angle is not included and when that is the case i have sometimes two possible triangles when i had angle side angle there was only one possible triangle side angle side the angles included only one possible triangle. But when I get this configuration of SSA, I get two possible situations. And that is why it's called the ambiguous case. Ambiguous case, because you don't know what it is. It's special. Because this configuration doesn't always work. Let's try another scenario where I have uh, a side side angle. Okay, so I'm going to again start off with my line. And we'll hide these points. And I know my angle is 57, so I'll make my angle 57. Rotate it 57. And now I know that this here is my point A. It's 57. It's fixed. It can never change. But I know I have to come along and make my circle from here 10. So I'm going to construct my circle. And this is 10 here. I'll hide that circle. So this must be point B. Okay, well, let me hide this and just go to the line. Here is 10. Now, 
from B, I have to create, from here, a segment of 7. Well, I'm going to do my trick again with the circles. Select the point, select that line, and I'm going to struck a circle. Hmm. Now in this case, it doesn't make it to the side. No matter where I put this line here, it doesn't make it to the opposite side. And so this time, there is no solution to my triangle. And so again, it's an angle side side situation. I give it an angle, I'm given the side of 10 and the side of 7, and 7 is not long enough to make it across. No triangle. So when I have this scenario, I get different kind of situations. Let's try another one here. So I'm going to start off with my line as always. I'll hide those points. Put a point on here. Oh. Now I'm going to make my angle of 65. 65, I'll rotate it. And then I know I have to put this length here. This is, I know, angle A. And so AB is 7. So I select my point, I select that, and I'm going to instruct my circle. And so here, this is a length of 7. Let's put a segment on here. Okay, so this here is 7, and this is B. And I know I want the third side to be 9, but I'll make it so I can maneuver it a little bit. And make sure that this is a segment here. Okay, so I'm going to select this, select my segment, and I'm going to construct my circle. Well, if I look at it as is it now, there's no solution here. As I extend my circle out, there are, at this point, two solutions. If I keep on going here, I get only one possible solution out, he out here. Let me try that again. Oh. Out here. Uh, now, in this scenario, I know I had to have A to be 65, so this is 65, 65, and this is 9. If I come along, right, and if I change this being 9, there's one possible triangle. And then I don't get, there's another possible triangle. Here I get my two, here could be a triangle here, my two possible triangles, and so on. Now, some people ask, well, why isn't this a triangle that I could get? The reason why that's not possible is because this angle is no longer 65, and I need to have a 65 degree angle. And so this scenario here doesn't work, only one triangle. And so, to summarize, if I have an angle-angle side scenario, there could be two solutions, one solution, or zero solutions, because that's how triangles are made. If I had SAS, there's one triangle. ASA, there's one triangle. SSS, which we didn't do, there's one triangle. And then A, A, S, one triangle. And so, now A, 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 people often ask about. There are many, many triangles, and that's a whole different story. We don't talk about this one. So that's why we have this tr trouble with the sign law. In the first place, we have to make sure that we can see how the triangles are made. I hope that helps more of your understanding of why it happens for the sign law.